Hi, hello viewers. Welcome to my channel. This is Ravi. In this video, I am going to show you how to prepare GST purchase and sales invoices reports in Excel. But before going to that, a small request. Those who are visiting first time to my channel, please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends. Now let us see the concept how to prepare GST purchase and sales invoices reports in Microsoft Excel. Okay, right. So first of all, uh, okay, I am preparing the heading. Right. So for that I have selected some cells. Now I am clicking on merge and center. This option, merge and center. Oh, here I am typing GST purchase, GST purchase and sales in invoice report. Okay, okay. So after that. So, I am giving here the font size is twenty six. I am giving, and here I am selecting this one, and I am giving the color red color, and this is I am giving bold. Okay, so here. Okay, I am filling with this color. Okay, so now, so here I am giving serial number. After that, invoice number, invoice number. So after that, invoice date. After that, invoice date, stock item, stock item, after that quantity, rate, taxable value. Taxable value GST. List. In GST, if we talk about GST, here we have two types of GST. So one is CGST, that means central GST, and one is state GST. Okay? CGST and another one is SGST. So one is central GST and the second one is state GST. Okay, right. After that we have invoice value. Invoice value. Right. Okay. Okay, like this. Okay, right. So after this one, what we have to do means see here. Hmm. So here, here GST is only one in that we have two. One is CGST means Central GST. So another one is State GST. Okay. So, uh, so here two cells are there. Only here one cell is there. So that's why I am combining these two cells. Okay. So, uh, selecting these two cells and clicking on Merge and Center. Okay, right. So you observe here. Here CGST, GST invoice value is there, but all these cells are, all these cells are empty only. So that's why what I am doing here serial number. So I am merging this cell and this cell and clicking on merge and center, right? Okay. So after that, 
up to here the cells are empty so what i am doing is here see here selecting this cell with right click with right click i am dragging up to here cgst okay so whenever i leave the right click so you will observe here some option see here fill format only or fill without format that means only we need the format here only we need the format here so that's why here we need only formatting which formatting this formatting we need of the serial number only we need the formatting so that's why i am giving here fill format only see here so whatever the cell is there na so like that all cells are kept so again i am selecting this one and here alignment is there in the alignment i am giving middle align see here middle align okay so after that we have to select all the cells i am selecting all the cells here up to here after that i am filling with color okay i am filling with this color and i am giving bold okay i am filling that color okay I'm giving bold also okay right so after that we have to enter the okay serial now i am entering serial number invoice number here i am giving so here taking bold okay so y 1012 this is the invoice number after that invoice date for example 050620 okay this is the date stock item for example here we are talking about the mobile phones okay mobile phones vivo vivo okay vivo we i we vivo mobile phone stock item and quantity how much quantity 20 uh, after that rate what is the rate of that one for example 15000 okay here tangs taxable value what is taxable value so taxable value is nothing but the value which does not contain tax without tax okay so how it comes means quantity into rate so quantity is in f8 and rate is in g8 so is equal to okay so this one into this one this is the taxable value means without tax so after that here we have gst in gst we have two types one is cgst one is sgst uh, for the mobiles the gst is 12% in this 12% for central 6% and the state is 6% okay right is equal to so gst how we can give means see here taxable value into 6% why because Central six percentage, state six percentage. So six, okay, percentage, six percentage. Enter. After that, here also same formula is equal to taxable value into six percentage. Okay. Ah. So then, what about this value? Invoice value. Invoice value is nothing but so total tax. value without tax and taxes that is equal to so which one so this one plus this one plus this one okay so this is invoice value so that means suppose if we have different different gsts for different different products at that time we have to go for tally software but whenever we have a small data and only small Uh, products are there at that time we can use excel so like this but whenever we have huge amount of data huge uh, different different uh, uh, dsts are there na at that time we have to go for tally okay so this is about suppose here you observe we have given the formulas ah. so now what i am doing here is see here up to taxable value okay na so now i am dragging this up. right okay 
we can drag up to 200, 300,000, 2,000, 10,000 up to also. Okay. So now what I'm giving here is second one and that uh, invoice number is Y1013 here. Invoice date we have to give here. For example, 20. Okay. Here I am giving. Twenty. Okay. Here the product is Oppo. Okay. Right. Quantity is thirty, and the rate is, for example, sixteen thousand. Okay. You observe here. So whenever only one time I have given the formulas, all the formulas. You observe here. So whenever I press tab button, all the values will come. See here. See automatically all the values. Whenever I press tab button from the keyboard. All the values like taxable value, GST, SGST, and invoice value. Okay, so like this we can prepare. So GST purchase and sales invoice report in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so if you have any doubts or any queries regarding this video, keep in comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. So like it and share it to your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video.